mind. Yeah, it's one all one shot. Now the future is yours. Go for real. I thought it was a joke when I first saw it. How honest can we be on this? <laughs> Three, two, one, extra. I think it's fucking brilliant. In a world full of information, it takes quite a lot to get to the attention. And I think something like this is it, kind of clever enough and exciting enough and, and kind of bonkers enough. A bit crazy. Is there something that made Ukraine and Georgia the idea of the shoot? It's a lot of different scenes, it's a big story, it's, it's something that the brand hasn't done before. It is a big risk, you know, and I think that's what made it so exciting. It's few different stories, completely different styles, periods, really interesting challenge to make it in a different way for a reset. <laughs> Doing launch films differently, we can do that in any number of different ways. In this particular project, the way that we want to do launch films differently is we just want to create something that is batshit insane. I think this project is like a dream came true. I haven't shot anything like this. Good sets, fire, explosions, guns. A lot of the stuff to deal with it here is imaginary. So when we put this, it takes this light source around people who can imagine how it's gonna look like later. We just take it to a next level. It's challenging because of the landscape and the difficulties with screen and with all the stuff up. Ah, no, no, no. This is a industrial Soviet style of Blacksmith was like kind of uh, less uh, controlled. It's all been done for real. Obviously everyone's been very safe and cautious, but it's hot, it's smoky, it's fantastic. It was a very, very uh, interesting scene to shoot. It was quite dangerous. It was really important for me to, to go, but actually it just wasn't possible for me to leave the country just because of COVID, which was honestly really sad for me, but working with the production company, they really facilitated a really nice feedback situation where I could attend the shoot remotely. So I had a view of the set and I also had a view of the cameras at all times, which was really honestly like much smoother than you would think. What was wrong with the traditional? I don't actually know anybody that watches them. Most product launches are pretty fucking boring. I think the average consumer probably just does not enjoy watching them at all. I would not tune in to, probably to a normal keynote. Never. I mean, never. 75% of them are bored. I think it's time to try and shift the format, try to do something new. I'm in love. I'm in love. These guys were amazing. I love working <laughs> with them all. I honestly don't know how we would ever top it. This entire project is a love song to creativity and filmmaking. And everyone kind of added their own special ingredient to the sauce that really, really made it amazing. That would be like a, a, a big bada boom. I think uh, what we've done it here is like nobody has the most. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Oh, we are so bad. Know that the ride or die.